This tutorial will download uh, AccuTrans 3D and install it. Uh, I'm running Windows uh, Photo Gallery here to uh, hide all my uh, icons so they won't be a distraction. So the first thing we'll do is bring up Firefox and go to the AccuTrans website and click on the Downloads link. We'll come down here to the download and first we'll download the software. Make sure we're on Save File. Click OK. Comes up and asks us where we want to store it. We'll go to Wayne Downloads Tutorial. Yours will be different. Click Save. Okay, so we have one file downloaded. So now we will go back and click on the help documentation file. It comes up, we'll say OK. Put it in the same directory, save. And if we check our downloads link, it's made it. So we'll close that so it'll automatically open. Come back here, click on the contents. Again, OK. We've got two, we'll add the third one, save. Okay, we've got all the files. We'll clear the list. And now we'll just park Firefox. We'll go to the Start menu and click on Computer. I'm using Vista 7. And our dialog box uh, opens. And it's got no name on it, but this was once known as Windows Explorer. And so I still call it the same thing. So now I'll click, I'll go to my Wayne's folder, click on the icon to open it up, come down to the downloads, click here to open it up, scroll all the way down to the tutorial file folder, and click on it, and we have three zip files. Now, to uh, install them using the installer that's built into the operating system. We click on tutorial to open it up and we have three zip files. So I'll uh, first right click on the exe, the zip file that contains the exe. Click on extract all. Now it comes up with my default, default where we already are at so I'll click on the browse button I'll click on computer and I'm going to install it on the C file at the root level so I'll just click on the C and it comes up lists all my folders and we can see I don't have an AccuTrans 3D here so I'll click OK and it says up so once the files are extracted uh, if I leave this checked it'll open up another copy of uh, Windows Explorer to show us what files are in there I'll just click Extract, and here's our uh, AccuTrans 3D folder now at the root level of the C drive, and if I click on it and look inside, there's our EX fi EXE file and an update file. So now I'll go back to this Windows Explorer. Now, when you uh, see the zip files listed, uh, and you see this mark this icon beside them. If we click on that icon, it opens up and it says we have a folder below it. And if we uh, click on the zip file, it comes up and shows us the same folder. And if we click on the folder name, it shows us what's inside the folder. So I know by seeing this, when I do the uh, extraction, that the installer is going to create uh, an AccuTrans folder in whatever location where I told it to and then it'll put those files inside it. If you don't see this mark below it then the uh, files that are inside the zip file are not included in another folder so when you stick them someplace you want to be able to extract them to another folder location. So, so now I'll go down and I'll right click on the help file I'll come up extract all. Again, it returns us to, where, to uh, where we are here instead of the last one we used. So we'll go browse, 
click on computer again click on C and click OK so we're going back to the C drive and I'll click off this because I've already got one open and I'll say extract now what it does is it's come down and it, on our previous step we already created an Accutrans folder so it finds that folder there and it asks us if we want to merge the Accutrans folder coming from the help zip file with the one we already put on the drive yes we want to do that so click yes okay now it's detected that there is the same update dot text file inside the second zip as it found in the first so we'll say skip that because there's no use copying it again now if we go back to this one click on the Accutrans folder we have now have the help file and the executable file so now we go back to uh, this zip file click on the content right click on it extract all hit browse back to computer click C OK installing it to the C click extract and it again it asks us if we want to merge so we say yes and it's copying all the files okay uh, that's done if we go back here we click on Accutrans uh, here it added two new two new files plus two folders with files in it so we now have everything loaded so now I'll just park park this one now if I wanted to uh, create a shortcut to the uh, exe file I just right click on it go down click create shortcut then go up here click click on the icon not on the name and uh, uh, right click and click on cut so we're now cutting this out I go over to the uh, desktop where I want to place it and do a right click and a paste and the shortcut is taken from there and stuck onto the desktop if I click on the uh, shortcut now Accutrans will start up and uh, Micromouse Productions isn't registered with Microsoft so this comes up and uh, so we'll just click on this button so we won't get asked every time we start it and then click run okay so now I'll just have to move this over a bit okay so we come up with the first requester and uh, you click on whichever one's appropriate and so I'll click on OK for a register user then we get the uh, dialog box telling us that we can modify toolbars so we'll click OK uh, the, another dialog box opens tells us how to uh, operate the uh, how to use the help manual and context sensitive help and a warning if the help file doesn't work so we'll click OK now here we are we've got Ac we, we've got Accutrans up now just to uh, show I could click open and uh, then uh, click uh, it, it's already Windows remember stuff so sort of knows where I was once before so I click on uh, I'll go to my S directory uh, I'll go down here to the NASA directory click on Apollo Sousa and uh, let's what was in here? Three, uh, I'll go to all known formats. I think it's yeah, 3ds file. Click on it, and we, it, some of the textures are missing, so it, I just get that. So okay, Accutrans is up and it's uh, running. If we go back and uh, look in here, we'll see. So far, we haven't created any new files because I haven't shut Accutrans down yet. Close that down now say I wanted to go use context sensitive help it's not going to work because Windows has blocked the help file but anyway we'll click on it now I'll go click on one of the icons and this message comes up it says navigation to the web page was cancelled okay that's uh, Microsoft doing that to us so we'll just close that down click on the context sensitive help again turn it off now I'll go down and bring up the uh, 
Okay, I'm back. I ran out of uh, recording time, so I had to start a new recording session. So now I'll come down to the uh, our help file. I'll right-click on the help file, go down to properties, and when properties open, we'll see that this one button here is unblock. Uh, Microsoft blocked the uh, help file to make things uh, safe for us, so I'll click unblock, click apply, click OK, and the help file is now unblocked. So if I go back to Accutrans, reactivate contact sensitive help, and click on one of the buttons, there we are, help, help is now working. And if I click on contact sensitive help to turn it off, go to help contents, and I'll move it on t into the capture area so we can see it. And here's our uh, help file. Okay, close down the help file. Now, if I come back to uh, here, once the uh, the help file was uh, activated and actually worked, uh, Windows wrote another file in here which is called the CHW uh, file which keeps track of sort of what we're doing when we're using help. So once, so everything should be okay now. So now I'll go back to Accutrans and I'll shut it down. Okay, now after Accutrans shuts down it saves all the user settings in a prefs file. Now this file is is not this file extension is not associated with Accutrans or uh, and probably no other uh, software on your computer. So if you check under Windows Associations for file extensions, you won't find it listed. But that doesn't matter because when Accutrans starts up, it looks inside the same folder it is in to find this prefs file. Now if I go back and click on the icon again. Accutrans starts up. If I hit the reload button, uh, no, because it's looking for the textures. There's our last object that we loaded. If I go back to context sensitive help, click here. There we get some help messages. Help again. Help again. Okay, so everything is working there. And if I uh, turn off context sensitive help, click on align normals. Uh, I'll click on the help button to bring up the page for the help align. That CHW file remembered that I had placed the uh, the help file uh, over here, so it stuck it over there where I had last used it, and the page opened to align surface normals. So uh, everything is uh, everything is working. So I'll just close that down. Say yes again. Down it goes. And for good luck, we'll try once more. Up comes Accutrans. Uh, let's uh, do a reload. Here's our object. We'll do create the UV panel. I'll right click over on this layer. There all comes our stuff up inside. And if I click the help button here, it brings up the help button for create UV texture coordinates. And so there we go. So that's all you have to do to uh, download and uh, install uh, Accutrans.